kind of characterize this game after game. this game where you guys defense is playing the way it is in the offense as well? You got to hand it to you guys. Uh, yeah. yeah, listen, um, uh, losing's never a good feeling. Uh, you know, I don't, I don't think anyone in here, uh, you know, is walking out with, uh, with a good feeling right now. Uh, but the, the beautiful part about this game is uh, we get a chance to make the corrections, you know, and, uh, and come back and, and, and put another step forward to, to playing the style of football we want. Look, it wasn't all bad. You know, I think, um, you know, as a defense, um, we showed some good things. Uh, you know, there's still some plays we got to be able to take off the tape. You know, we can't allow those screens. You know, those are, those are, those are big. You know, uh, you know, for for a defense like us that attacks where we attack, we're going to get those all year. So we got to be able to st- uh, stop those. Uh, you know, some of the draws, different things like that. Uh, we got to tackle better. You know, as a unit. Uh, you know, overall, consistently. Uh, um, and, and then we'll go from there. You know, as a team, uh, listen, we're a young team. You know, uh, we, we know that. We knew that going into the thing. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll trust the offensive coaches to, to, to continue to guide Zach in the right direction. And uh, we'll get this thing rolling. Like I said, isn't it? I, I said it before the season. It's not going to be an easy process. You know, we're, we're literally coming in here changing the culture of, of, of a whole organization that's lost for a while, you know, to, to just to be honest about it. But, um, it's not going to be easy, but each and every week, you know, we, we got to be able to to take the tiny wins and and, and, and find the good in in what we don't like uh, as a whole, you know, to be able to continue to grow as a team. Yeah, yeah. And listen, we can't have it. You know, it's just point blank period. We can't have those, you know, th- those type of things. Uh, Listen, we just got to have guys and see to rally, see to bring their feet on tackles, drive through guys. Uh, guys can't leave their feet behind them. Uh, you know, for a guy who runs as hard as Damian does, uh, he's going to run through those arm tackles or, or run through tackles where guys aren't be, are able to drive with their feet behind it. So uh, we just can't have it in, in, in those situations, you know, you know where uh, we just got to get the ball back to our offense. You know, that's, that's, that's kind of the way this game was going. Listen, and that's what it's going to be all season. We got to be able to get the ball back to our offense and get the ball back to Zach. You know, to be able to allow him to go through those growing pains, but at the same time, you, you're able to see throughout those growing pains, he's showing flashes of, of being the, the, the guy that we all expect him to be. So um, we just can't have, 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 have plays like that where we're going to miss five, six, seven tackles and allow guys to run down the middle of our defense and, um, and score touchdowns. So um, it's something we can't have. We'll be able to watch that in the film room, correct it. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not our standard, and we won't stand for it. I mean, it's different. You know, I, I won't. I won't say it's 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 tough. It's it's just different. You know, I think. Um, you know, the thing you understand is that you know he is young. You know, and and not, I'm not going to sit here and compare him to Drew Brees or or the situation in New Orleans. And this is a completely different team, completely different organization. And uh, and we understand what we have was that. You know, the, the the talent is off the charts. He continues to flash and and show the things that make him special. Um, we just got to allow him to. To, to continue to grow and, and continue to grow and be himself, you know, and, and, and not allow his, his negatives, you know, his, his, his bad plays to, to knock down his confidence. You know, he, he, we got to continue to build him up, you know, and I think that's, you know, a, a great job of what our coaching staff and this, and this team has done is just allow him to be himself, work through it all, and, uh, you know, and eventually we'll get this thing rolling. We have the utmost confidence in him, our coaching staff. We'll be fine. So he plays obviously with a lot of guts, right? Absolutely, for sure. Yeah, listen, I, th- I, I think part of that is trial and error. You know, I think you can probably go back to, you know, a younger Drew Brees and, and he was taking a lot of shots, you know, uh, trying to go for the home runs and, and try to try to win the game now. You know, I think, uh, you know, as a, as a young player, period, not just a quarterback position. I mean, you know, I can think about, a, you know, in my younger, you know, playing career, like I always wanted to, wanted the big sack now, wanted the big TFL now, whereas you got to go through the process. You got to go through the process of, of the fundamentals and everything you're taught to do, you just got to allow your training to take over. 
you know, and I think you know, as a young player, it, it gets tough at times because, you know, you want to be that guy who's making big plays and got the fans going crazy and different things like that. But he'll be fine. You know, I have no doubts, uh, you know, about him. I've, I've seen him go through his progressions at practice and go through the things he's taught to do. Um, he'll be fine. Like I said, he's just getting out here. His first home game in front of our home crowd. Um, he wanted to do some special things. You know, he he's – making some throws he thinks he can make, you know, and, and listen, sometimes he'll make them, sometimes he won't. You know, that's just kind of the nature of this business. Uh, but he'll continue to learn from it, and then we'll continue to build off of it. And, and each and every week, you know, you'll see, you know, even if it's not something big or huge, but you'll see little things each and every week he'll continue to grow on and, and become a better overall player consistently, for sure. How do you, how do you think the, uh, your defense did against their – uh, I, I think we did all right. Like I said, the, the screens are gonna, you know, are, are gonna be something we get all year. So, uh, regardless of whether it's rookie quarterback, whoever it is, a quarterback, you know, they're gonna throw screens against us. So we got to be able to to rally to those, stop those. Um, you know, I, I think we we did some some good things. You know, getting off the field on third down against him, uh, showing him some different looks, showing him some different things, and being able to pressure him, fluster him a little bit, uh, not allow him to go through all his progressions and, and reads, and kind of force him out of the pocket at times. Uh, and then we were able to, you know, sack him a few times as well. So uh, anytime you can hit a young quarterback, uh, you know, and kind of rough, uh, rough him up a little bit, you know, ruffle his feathers, uh, that's going to be big, especially if you do it early in the game. Um, you know, you, you can usually kind of expect a team to kind of not allow him to take too many more chances after that. You know, you don't want to shake a guy's confidence too much. But overall, I think we play well. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, the big thing is we got to force turnovers. You know, I think, um, you know, if – if they're going to, you know, come out here and, and come out with, I think, what, four turnovers, I think, we, they had against us, um, we got to be able to match that. You know, we got to be able to, you know, on, on my sack, I got to be able to, you know, get the ball out, you know, uh, on JFM sack. Uh, the ball came out, but we got to get that. You know, I think um, th those are those are times to make game-changing plays where it's right there to be made, and we got to be able to make those to, to kind of, you know, h help our offense out when they're struggling and just help this team out, build some momentum, and, and continue to grow from that. I know you weren't here for this first Jets Patriots game, but okay, a couple more. So this team has lost 19 to 21 against Patriots since the can't, can't wait game, which you obviously know if you've heard that. Mm -hmm. um, and fans are looking at this thing. Tom Brady's gone. The Jets should be competitive against this team. They should be good. They're you guys weren't today. So what, what, what do you say to fans who say, like, Jets are never going to beat this team again, you know what I mean? Yeah, listen, um, I don't speak to fans about, you know, what, what, what goes on uh, within the building and, 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 the pro and the progress that I'm able to see that we make. Um, you know, I, I, I know as a fan it can get frustrating watching your team, you know, lose and, you know, quote, unquote, not compete. But, you know, at the end of the day, um, when we put the tape on, there are going to be some things we like. You know, there, there's going to be things that we look at and be like, okay, we can win with that. You know, but there's also going to be things that we're going to be like, okay, we got to correct that. You know, it's early in the season. It's week two. You know, it's week two with a young team, completely new regime. Everything's different. Like, you know, it's it's still it's it's it's, it's still you know being cultivated. You know, and that's and, and that's the beauty of it. You know, when we can find things we like within the the new cultivation. Uh, We'll take that, you know. So, uh, I, uh, if if I had anything to say to Jets fans, just continue to be patient with the process. You know, we got the pieces, we got the players, we got the coaches. Uh, this thing's gonna turn around. Like I said, it, to to change a culture is not easy. You know, especially you know from a from a from a culture that's lost for a long time. It's 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 not easy, and especially in a division where. You know, you got a team like the Patriots who's ran it for a long time. You got Buffalo who's playing well now. You got Miami who's doing some good things now. So um, people just got to continue to be patient with the process. And I know people have been patient for a while, but at the end of the day, um, we'll get it done, but it's going to take some time. And, you know, this, 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 this isn't a thing where, you know, um, Guys are just showing up and just, you know, collecting checks and, and, and not trying to really do this. Like, you know, everybody in this building wants to win games and compete for championships and, and make the playoffs. And, you know, the, the steps in that happening, you know, are, are part of the losing process, sadly. You know, you got you, you kind of got to take those lumps. But at the end of the day, uh, we'll continue to grow from those and everybody will continue to rise above it. And, you know, and when it's all said and done, this thing will be clicking, this thing will be rolling, and we'll be where we want to be. Sheldon, outcome aside, what are you going to remember most about today, your first home opener? Uh, outcome aside, for sure the sack, for sure. Uh, first first sack as a Jet, 
you know, got a little shimmy going. You know, that's that's big. Love love doing that. Uh, but you know, overall, listen, just you know, being in that be, being in that environment. Uh, you know, first home game. You know, with his fans going crazy and just you know being part of that atmosphere again was special. Uh, and and I look forward to being part of many more of those moments. Good. Thank you, Thank you Shelby. Thank you.